Hello, this video is about the 1R package. The 1R package is built upon the one rule classifier and the first time I saw this classification algorithm I was instantly fascinated by its simplicity yet accuracy and that inspired me to build this package and to put as many enhancements into it as possible. So for example it has a consistent handling of missing value values, it has um, optimized functions for handling numeric data and it also has diagnostic functions and um, I hope that is also quite simple to use so uh, when when you have ever done a linear regression um, you should be quite familiar how to use this package so you can find it on CRAN just go to tools install packages 1R and there it is and after that we are just loading the package and uh, it comes with lots of documentation and you see here um, that you can get additional information background information also additional examples um, here it's also on github so if you want to have a look at the source code uh, feel free to go there and now we are going through this example here step by step so let's say we want to analyze the iris data set a very famous data set it is included in r and um, so as it says here this famous data set gives the measurements of different uh, flowers in centimeters let's have a look at it And there you see that there are four columns with numeric data, sepal length, sepal width, petal length and petal width. And you have the different species there. There are three kinds of species. And you see that there are 150 instances, so 50 each. Setosa, Versicolor and Virginica. As I said, this is numeric data and there are specialized functions within the package um, one of them is opt bin so you can you can also use the main function right away but we're using the optimized version here so we put this into data and the function is opt bin and when you have a look at what the function did you see that um, everything is now in intervals everything is in bins so for example here with the sepal length 5.1 we have it in the interval 4.3 to 5.41 and as i said this is done in an optimal way so that um, you can use the one r function right now let's put this into model and we're using data and that's it you can also use verbose there to get some additional information ah, this should be true and then you see that um, the best predictor is and this is why it gets a star petal width with an accuracy of 96 percent if you want to get additional information on the model you just use the summary function and there you see the rules so um, this is one of the strengths here it's not a black box you really see the different rules so you see that um, if petal width is in this interval then it's species setosa if it's uh, within this interval then it's uh, species versicolor and uh, here then it's species virginica um, so this is one of the strengths that you um, don't use a black box model like with random forests or with uh, neural networks but in many cases um, and i did a lot of tests there um, also um, with real world data sets you have a, a quite quite a high accuracy so well this is a very simple data set so you have 144 of 150 instances classified correctly so this is 96 percent but um, in, in many cases when you have an accuracy of um, let's say 
95% um, with the most sophisticated methods like neural networks and random forests. With this method, you get um, only a few percentage points less. So in many cases, you have then 92%, let's say. And um, the strength is that you really see what is going on under the hood. So you really see the rules here. Now, when you have a look at the contingency table, um, you see again the best predictor. And then every majority class gets this star. And this is really how the model is done. So here you see that um, when it's within this interval, uh, it um, yeah, Satosa is predicted when it is in this interval, Versicolor is predicted, and here Virginica. And um, you, you, can, you, you really have a transparent modeling process. And um, you also have here the p-value, so a chi-square test is done, and this is highly significant. We can also plot a diagnostic plot. So let's do that. And you also see that these, these colors here are nicely separated. And this is always a good sign that um, this model is obviously a good one. Um, now, you can also, of course, predict new values. There is the uh, predict function. So let's do that. Predict. And we pop, put the model in there. And, um, well, we do it here in sample. Of course, you can also do it out of sample. But for uh, illustrative um, purposes, we do it in sample here. And I also wrote a simple evaluation function. This is called eval model. And the prediction goes into it. And the real values, the actual values. And there you see the confusion table with um, absolute values and with percentage values, you again see the accuracy and the error rate. So that's it. I hope that this is helpful for you and I'm looking forward to receiving lots of feedback. Thank you very much for watching this video and hopefully using this package.